hi guys so back in october earlier this year i was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disorder um, called cidp which stands for chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy which is similar to ms in some ways uh, but it attacks instead of your central nervous system more of your peripheral nerves so your hands and your feet and things like that um, basically my body got confused at some point and started attacking the myelin sheets around my nerves. So basically the protective coating. So now the signals are kind of traveling more like a frayed wire. Um, you know, anyways, so back in January of uh, this year, I was still skating totally normal, felt pretty all right. And, um, you know, February rolled around and I started feeling a little bit of off not really anything in particular just thought maybe i was like sore or like just kind of feeling sluggish wasn't really uh thinking much of it or anything and you know as time went on it kind of kept getting worse but it still wasn't anything we really noticed i figured at that point i was maybe just out of shape or something and you know my friend you know my friends started noticing when we were at skate spots um to the point where i would at first it was just here and there. Eventually I was falling down kind of like banana peel style on skates, you know, just slipping straight back and um, really do really a lot, like a lot more than I really ever should have. I mean, I was skating at what I, what I felt was a pretty high level for anything I'd been doing before that. And all of a sudden things started feeling really weird. Um, figured maybe it was my skates, like, making something feel weird or yeah still maybe I was just out of shape but really couldn't put a pin in anything just yet and um yeah a little bit more time goes by and around like April or so we um go to a skate park and my feet right when I get out of the car like I couldn't feel my right foot really at all and I figured maybe I just you know worked long that day and maybe I slipped, was sat on it wrong on the way over there and it was just asleep but it didn't really go away and then the next day and the next day and the next day and it just kind of kept going on and it it started kind of getting weaker over time I noticed when I was skating I was able to jump a little less each time I was getting tired way faster um a lot less dexterity and movement kind of available to my ankles and my knees like I was feeling very stiff just didn't feel right um, and the numbness was striking me weird so I started changing different you know different insoles in my shoes and my skates and different liners different laces different heel pad anything I could do to kind of like switch it up maybe this will make my foot happy kind of feeling and um, over time it just kind of kept getting worse and you know I got to the point when I was doing those banana peel falls uh, so often that I had a few of my friends honestly ask if I was on drugs or drinking at skate spots or anything like that which definitely wasn't and uh, you know around like the end of May is when I decided like hey this really doesn't seem to be getting better um, I think I need to take a little bit of time off skating and that should definitely heal it and then I'll try a different pair or, you know size up or something when I'm ready to come back in a couple weeks or so and you know from that point on it just kind of worked and you know went on with my normal daily life and at work even I was starting to drop little things they felt like they were pulling the weight under me um, things that I would have had no trouble carrying even like a month or two before that and you know my my bosses and coworkers started kind of noticing something was wrong, but none of us like chalked it up to anything serious really yet. Um, and then my boss saw me uh, fall down the stairs right in front of her one day. And that's when she kind of like got alarmed and realized this may be more serious and just wanted to be sure. So she pulled me off everything except some computer work. You know, I was working in beers. I was doing the bar and delivering kegs and cases and stuff with some weight to it um but nothing like nothing unbearable at any point until recently and then all of a sudden i was at the computer i would sit there and do a lot of stretches while i was on it and everything but 
maybe three weeks went by or so and I fell down the stairs again in front of my boss this time with like my backpack and a few other things in my hands and they, they just started getting really worried and told me like hey uh, you need to go get this figured out like what you should probably head over to the doctor in the emergency room and you know come back as soon as you got this figured out it's okay and I agreed thinking like yeah you know I'll be back in a week or so no big deal um, after getting to the emergency room they did a lot of testing MRIs very like maybe 12 MRIs a lot of different blood tests that I, I couldn't even tell you what they were all for at this point and so many different like drug tests, you know, random like coordination tests, everything that I, they could think of. They wanted to do a spinal tap, but I wasn't too sure at that point yet. Um, and they wanted to keep me there for a little while until I could get to a neurologist in about a week with them. But unfortunately, I was still uninsured at this point, so I couldn't really get back to it um, for that long and afford to. So. We ended up heading home against their recommendation and um, you know, right before we left, they, they told me it wasn't a good idea that they think it could be like spinal cord cancer or um, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, MS, you know, a lot, a lot of really scary things. And that, that's kind of the point where it dawned on me that this might be something a lot more serious going on. And once I got home, we started trying to figure out medical insurance, but that was gonna take a little while. So we also looked into a sports medicine clinic that did like electrotherapy kind of thing as you know they basically specialized in neurological disorders and had a really good reputation only about a half hour from where i live out here and they they they, they were a big help we went i went every day during the week so five days a week um for a month straight until the end of the month when they said hey we think this is more serious like it doesn't seem like you're improving and you should be showing improvement to some extent by now but it seems like you're moving the other direction and we all agreed that yeah it's time i really see a neurologist and um after a few more phone calls we were finally able to kind of jump start the um insurance and we knew at least it was going to start the following month after that so once we finally got the insurance all set in, I was able to wait a few weeks to see a physician. Um, and luckily, right off the bat, he kind of sped the process up and he agreed like, yeah, you need to see a neurologist. Let's get you out of here and we need to get you in there as soon as possible. Um, about a week later, when I went to the neurologist, they said the best option is to do an EMG test, which I hadn't had done yet. Uh, it's basically when they put needles in your hands your legs wherever the affected area is and kind of shock you with electro it's like a little electro cow prong looking thing it's actually uh as weird as it sounds it was kind of fun honestly and seeing your muscles like jolt in weird places but um i was really really afraid until i got to that test and they confirmed that i had cidp and it wasn't um anything else uh, the neurologist even reassured me that, you know, a lot of people do make a pretty full recovery with this one. Uh, I was still pretty scared and didn't know how long that would take. He didn't, he wasn't able to tell me that either. Uh, it's a really uncertain thing. There's not a whole lot known about it. It's pretty rare and each case is pretty unique. Um, however, the neurologist ordered me to be on IVIG, which is a sort of blood infusion plasma thing that's supposed to really help and it does usually help a lot with um, people with my condition and help them basically stop the uh, symptoms from progressing any worse and it's not going to repair the myelin around your nerves but it basically wakes your body up to stop attacking itself from what i understand i'm, I'm not a doctor and i'm learning more about this now but i don't know a whole lot about it but that's, hey that's kind of what this channel is going to be about we're going to going to go over a lot of what we can learn over this and anyways back to the topic um then the ivig started about nine nine ten days after that and those those were interesting they weren't too bad during the fact but got really sick the weekend after um which has continued through them so far i'm coming up on my fourth one next week 
and after that I ended up going to um, PT shortly after my first IV IG infusion once I felt better. Uh, I'm really lucky that my physical therapist has treated someone with GBS, Guillain Barre syndrome, which is very similar to my condition. Um, mine's just the chronic version of it from what I understand and it has a little bit longer of an onset. However, um, you know, I'm seeing her only twice a week. So I'm doing as much as I can at home trying to really keep my body moving. Um, from what I understand, the main idea in this is use it or lose it. So I don't want to lose my nerves. And over the course of uh, all of this, I went from skating at a, what I felt was a pretty high level for me to uh, falling down the stairs. And then the foot drop kind of set in, so my toes dragged really badly, kind of like someone with MS or um, like someone after a stroke would be really common to have that. So I'm walking with my cane for now, still hoping to leave this thing behind pretty soon. Um, I also am using AFOs, which are ankle foot orthotics, so basically something that attaches my foot to hold it upward so I can walk without dragging my toes as much. Um, still have the IVIGs going on going. They, they say you kind of have to live with those for life if you want to, um, you know, kind of get back to normal. I'm, I don't really feel okay with that. I want to get off this IVIG as soon as possible and really just get back to being healthy and strong, even stronger than before is what I'm hoping to get to, which I have seen some pretty amazing people achieve just that with this condition that I've uh, connected with and have given me a lot of hope. People I'd love to talk a little more about too. Um, basically, we're gonna jump into this and see how much more we can recover. Uh, just in the time since October, I've got a thumbs up now. I know that doesn't seem like a lot to most people, but both hands look like this for a couple of months. I'm trying to move trying to move that one but I can't give a thumbs up but here I can uh even got a little bit of a wiggle left in my or starting up in my left ankle again which feels amazing so I'm hoping I can uh really see where this goes and you know change my diet up change my exercise up and really take a look at my health and come back from this and get off the medicine and be extra strong um, and if you've recently been diagnosed with CIDP, just know there's amazing support out there. Um, I would definitely recommend like the the faces of uh, GBS and CIDP. Um, it's an Instagram page. You can connect with a lot of really nice people in the community, and everyone has been so willing to help and share their story and help motivate and give me hope. I feel so fortunate I just want to add to helping people with that I still have a long way to go before I'm back to uh, where I want to be but I, I, I know it's gonna get there and I've had a lot of pretty talented and amazing people reassure me of that fact along the way as well as support that I am very very fortunate to have along the way as well um, so this is my first entry in this I will try my best to upload every single day and keep this along with the process and the recovery um i will see you guys tomorrow hope that wasn't too awkward and too all over the place first time i've ever done anything like this but see you guys tomorrow